going to go ahead and call the meeting to order now. Uh, you'll join me for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let the record show that all board members are present except for Dr. McNeil. Uh, there is a correction to the agenda in the business agenda item one for um, the frontier produce and other fresh fruit and vegetable POs. There's some PO numbers that were put in incorrectly. Um, the first one is for Frontier Produce at Grove. It should read 12403345. For Frontier Produce at McAuliffe, it should read 12403349. And for Frontier Produce at Peters, it should read 12403352. So. Is there a motion to approve the agenda with that change? Second. All right. Mr. Cairn? Yes. Mr. Reyes? Yes. Ms. Romerman? Yes. And the chair votes yes as well. Consent agenda. All of the following items, those items of a routine nature normally approved at board meetings, will be approved by one vote unless any board member desires to have a separate vote on any or all of these items. The consent agenda consists of the discussion, consideration, and action on the following items. Items A through Z. Any comments? Second. All right. Uh, Ms. Roverman? Yes. Mr. Reyes? Yes. Mr. Kinnear? Yes. And the chair votes yes as well. All right. Information reports, USPA. All right. Uh, UCTA. President McAdams, Dr. Hart, well, members of the board. <laughs> Mike Wade, he's gone. <laughs> um, UCTA will be at five sites this month after school, helping our members switch from payroll deduct to auto pay. OEA is paying our members $50 to switch their dues. Um, and the reason for this is just to show legislators that we need to focus on issues in our classrooms and in our schools instead of worrying about our union dues. Um, I would also like to mention that UCTA has started a member spotlight. So every week um, we're posting on our social media sites where members get to nominate other members for doing good things, big or small, um, in our classrooms and in our schools. So we've started that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, communications. Anyone signed up to speak? No? All right. Then next we have public hearing for the purpose of public comment and discussion on financial matters including past and future expenditures of the district in accordance with Senate Bill 1094 of the 1994 legislative session. Is there anybody here to speak to that? All right. Moving on to the business agenda. Consider and take action to approve the capacity levels and the calculated open transfer capacity amounts as recommended. Dr. Nelson. Yes, President McAdams, Dr. Hartzler, and our board. Um, <clears throat> the capacity numbers uh, are, are included in your packet. Thing. You would have noticed that uh, we are at capacity at all secondary sites, either through core courses or by electives. We do have some room in some of our elementary sites uh, in each of the grade levels for transfer capacity. Our transfer numbers are uh, to date currently enrolled at Union 859 transfer students. Uh, less than half, 344, are employees' children. Uh, 515 are uh, other transfers. And uh, another good note, we don't have final numbers yet, but Looks like we're going to be very close to 15,000 total enrollment, which is up about 100 students. So just 
good news. So I recommend that the board approve uh, the capacity levels and the calculated open transfer capacity amounts by school and grade level for posting on the district website. Second. All right. Mr. Omerman? Yes. Mr. Kinnear? Yes. Mr. Reyes? Yes. The chair votes yes as well. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Consider and take action to approve stop loss program for the district self insured medical plans, including all associated agreements and contracts, effective January 1st, 2024, and to authorize the Executive Director of Human Resources to sign the associated contracts and issue purchase orders and payment thereof. Mr. Logren. Thank you, President McAdams, Dr. Hartzler, members of the board. Uh, as we mentioned last month, we did not have a lock on our stop loss. Um, the good news is we did get locked offers. Um, the Benefits Committee, as we talked in the subcommittee, has made a recommendation to remain with granular, um, which has given us a really good rate. It's actually less than we paid this past year, which is always a good thing in medical insurance when you're paying less than you did the year before. Um, it maintains our aggregate insurance at $275,000, uh, which is a good thing. We don't want to increase that if we don't have to, um, unless we're in dire needs to try to keep our rates down. So we're very excited with this. There's a rate lock for two years, um, excuse me, a no new lasers for two years with the maximum rate increase built in. Um, so we're very excited to bring this to the board and recommend uh, that you approve granular option one as our stop loss for this upcoming year yeah that's that's actually it turned out better than what we could have or hoped for but very much so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, move for approval second all right mr reyes yes mr omerman yes mr Kinnear. yes chair votes yes as well consider take action on an agreement with power school for a master service agreement for software license subscriptions to support the teacher and principal evaluation system and the district's online employment application system in the amount of $124,224.18 from bond funds and authorize the Executive Director of Human Resources to sign the agreements and initiate payment under these agreements. Uh, thank you, President McAdams. Um, these are our ongoing systems that we use within HR and all across the district for our evaluation systems, our record keeping, um, online applications. Um, they're essential for how we function being electronic. Um, this is a two-year agreement um, with essentially no rate increase from the previous years, which we're very happy. Um, and Power School has been good to work with us in trying to maintain their products. So we recommend that you approve this so we can keep paying everybody. <laughs> and remind me, we'll still come back e even if we approve this tonight. This will be on... A year from now, but we still have to... It'll be on the renewal yeah. in that comes in June. Right. Yes. Uh, move for approval. Second. All right. Mr. Reyes? Yes. Mr. Kinnear? Yes. Ms. Remmerman? Yes. And the chair votes yes as well. All right. Under school operations, consider and take action to approve additional plank blanket purchase orders to Frontier Produce in the total amount of $509,897.92 from the Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Grant and additional purchase orders to Highland Dairy in the amount of $350,866.72 from the Supply Chain Assistance Funds. Mr. Bushyhead. Yes, President McAdams, Dr. Hartzler and Board just asking for approval for additional funds for the uh, Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Grant and then also from Highland Dairy um, Blanket PO. Second. Yes. Mr. Emmerman? Yes. Mr. Reyes? Yes. Chair votes yes as well. All right. Consider and take action on the bid for the Grove Elementary Playground Improvements Project and award the contract to Magnum Construction as the construction manager at risk in the guaranteed maximum price of $352,446 from bond funds. Dr. Robinson. President Mink Adams, Dr. Hartzler, members of the board, uh, this is our contract to uh, do our next box and our goal to replace all the uh, playground boxes around the district. <clears throat> um, this project will consolidate two um, larger boxes at Grove into kind of one medium-sized box, uh, replace the pea gravel with engineered wood fiber, um, puts a new drainage system underneath the box, includes a new toy, new large toy, 
uh, several new ancillary toys and also uh, a nice sidewalk for uh, for walking around the perimeter of the uh, of the playground. Um, with that, we secure approval. Move to approve. Second. Mr. Reyes? Yes. Mr. Rimmerman? Yes. Mr. Kinnear? Yes. And the chair votes yes as well. Thank you. Okay, under finance, consider and take action on payment to the County of Tulsa Office of the County Assessor for the annual visual inspection fee in the total amount of $226,601.50 payable from the 2023-2024 general fund, Dr. Williams. Thank you, Madam President, members of the board. Um, this is the uh, requested approval for the district to pay the uh, share of the visual inspection fees uh, to Tulsa County to the Office of the uh, Assessor. Uh, the county assessor proposes of a, about a $3 million budget for visual inspection. That budget under state law is allocated out among all taxing entities. Our district's share of this budget uh, and our obligation to pay is $226,601.50. Uh, that payment will be made uh, at the end of December 2023. The deadline is December 31st. I think we're actually very happy to pay this one this year, right? <laughs> <laughs> Happier? Happier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moved. Yeah, second. <laughs> Mr. Oman? Yes. Mr. Kinnear? Yes. Mr. Reyes? Yes. And the chair votes yes as well. Thank you. Consider and take action on the resolution calling for the board member election for District Number 4 on April 2nd, 2024, and to authorize publication and posting of the legal notices and news release and take all other action required by law concerning the board member election and assessment of legally required mill levies. Dr. Williams. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is a resolution to authorize the uh, board member election for Zone 4 on April 2nd, 2024. Um, there are also a number of requirements that we have in terms of meeting certain deadlines, filing notice with the county, public, publishing the notice, and providing a uh, press release. Um, it's worth noting that the filing period for this p position uh, begins December 4th uh, at 8 a.m. and closes on December 6th at 5 p.m. Uh, I'd be glad to answer any questions. <laughs> Second. Mr. Overman? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Reyes? Yes. Mr. Kinnear? Yes. And the chair votes yes as well. Thank you. Uh, any new business? Uh, any comments from the audience or board members? All right, I will accept a motion for adjournment then. So, so moved. <laughs> Second. Mr. Kinnear? Yes. Mr. Orman? Yes. Mr. Reyes? Yes. Chair votes yes as well. We are adjourned. Thank you.